Hey everybody, I'm just Q, and I'm back with some more Eternal Evolution. Now, what we're doing today is going through our spins for Jamuzo's Bell. Of course, the event is coming to an end here. It's actually um, decently late into the evening where I am, and um, I am just going to go ahead and knock out my pulls. Um, of course, after this, I'm going to also go ahead and put out um, a patch notes video so if you're getting done with this one and you're also doing your spins with me then please go and check out the patch notes video as well after this one or before i mean <laughs> which in every order you guys might have seen it i don't know i'm just gonna upload them and hopefully you guys have fun um because um i was looking at the events and everything and trust me i'm pretty interested in like just thought process um but right now since i don't remember anything they kind of be like a first few so let's go ahead and see what do we get for Jamuzo's Bell. Um, of course, the top item being, of course, the uh, prototype part um, or prototype dominant nucleus. So if you're running a summoner team, this is definitely something that you would love to go for. And the one thing I will put like as an extra caveat in this video, I'm hoping in the future they put in another way for us to guarantee get these divine prototypes um because i don't know I, I don't know if we're gonna you know ever have you know since we got the you know the gold and now we got red are we also gonna have you know white being legendary and then maybe really extremely far down the road have like the extraordinary you know once the game's been out for a long time so i don't know if that's ever a plan Obviously, we're gonna have to have a better way to to get the reds right now. It's just like events luck events and That's kind of pretty much it. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see um, As far as the other two things goes I do my first spin here just doing a double then we'll do seven of the other ones is um I Want to go for material so as you can see 24 hours is definitely something I want to go for um and then of course the red runes, so then soul potion, then the yellow runes, then summons, and these characters are last. I don't really care about getting a copy of Anfu or Sorvali right now. It's just they're just not someone I'm gonna build immediately, so that doesn't really benefit me. It doesn't hurt me if I get them, but it's just not something that I'm personally building for right now. Is all I'm saying. That's a lot of soul potions. <laughs> I will take it. But yeah, 24 hours is what I'm going for. I, I would love a lot of those. Thank you. See, the game likes to listen. The game likes to give you what you want. You just gotta ask for it. Gotta be somewhat humble about it. So there we go, two 24 hours. Oh, the game's trying to spoil me. The game is trying to spoil me. I don't know if I like that or not. Two more, yes. <laughs> Because right now I'm extremely needing, obviously, Rubelite, XP. That like that's why I really want those. I like if I don't get what I want in terms of the big prizes, ah, you know, big whoop, whatever. You can't get lucky every single time. But I desperately need more Rubelite and XP and just all of that. So I go more summons. So potions and runes that's perfect that's actually not that bad we didn't do too bad this time around i think last time i did get one of the big prizes i want to say i pulled a luke i think that's what it was so hey you know can't always be lucky in every single event but that's pretty much it that's what we get i'm actually gonna go and check out my bag right quick keep you guys here with me for a little bit longer and let's go ahead because i've actually already pushed my story as far as i can go so for my my hourly or minute but minute translating to my hourly um it'll be fine for me to just go into my bag here let's use these 1800 pushing me up to 44 then we'll go ahead and use actually we got one 24 hour over here specifically there we go oh, that actually pushes me over i don't necessarily have to hold that but i'm gonna leave it there because i know i don't need it right now so for my last one of course it's being artist which i will kind of swap out eventually whenever i get leo or creep but we're gonna go ahead and push him up so we can have all five of the heroes that we're just kind of like focusing on for now at 180 or higher so 199 199 1 190 180 and 180 
Of course, I'll push my Emma first before I do my artists in terms of level. So that's it. We're just waiting on XP, as you can see. So let's go ahead and we'll go to our bag and pop that because we, we need to start on our next level of Ruby Light. It gives us 32K. It's actually not bad. There we go. So let's go back to our heroes and put a little bit more XP into him. Of course, this won't get him extremely far. Oh, well, apparently got some XP in my bag here that I did not know about. Or maybe I forgot about. There we go. 28. And we're just a little bit off of pushing him and maxing him to 199 for now. But that's the name of the game. So we just get materials from events. The next big thing uh, we'll be getting most like a lot of runes and diamonds and other things from our Rise of Heroes. Of course, the new hero as well. So once everything's done for that, we'll come back for that. But I think, let's see how many days we got left. We got seven days left. So it, it'll be a minute before we do that. But thank you all for coming to watch my pull for Jamuzo's Bell. And if you have not watched the patch notes video, I will see you in that video really soon. When you're here, stay happy, always. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.